In this video, we will walk through the process of claiming your account in Portfolium and give you a brief introduction to the site. You will start by navigating to vt.portfolium.com, clicking on One Campus to log in. This will prompt you to enter your PID and password and take you through the two-factor authentication process. When you initially claim your account, Portfolium will walk you through a few suggested steps to populate your profile. If you are following along with this video, you can pause now to follow the prompts for adding skills, friends and colleagues, and uploading your resume. Remember, you can also complete these items later. After you've completed this onboarding, you will see your profile page. Here you can customize your profile by updating your profile picture, background image, tagline, or name easily. The system also prompts with other information that you might consider adding to your profile. Below these prompts you see information that a visitor to your portfolio will see. It starts with an introduction section that can include text and link several portfolio projects. Below this you can customize the order in which your various sections appear. Generally, you will have education and work experience, but the order you display these in will vary based on your goals for your portfolio. You can use these arrows in the upper right corner of each title bar to move a section up or down in the overall order. Now let's look at a sample project. Each project has a section with previews of the various artifacts attached to the project and an area below the preview window where you can add a description of the project and reflect on how the project impacts your own work or what you learned by doing this project. To the right you see skills and metadata tags associated with the project. These allow visitors to search for projects that demonstrate specific skills, tools, or software or projects that are associated with broader subject areas. To add your own project, you will simply click the plus new project button. In this window, you will add a descriptive title for your project, then attach various types of artifacts. This can include many different types of files, such as Word docs, PDFs, PowerPoints, images, and much more. You can also include links to other websites like YouTube or Prezi. When you click in each section, you will see helpful prompts and information in this box on the right hand side. For example, the description section includes some questions that you might consider answering in addition to describing your project. These reflective questions help a visitor to your portfolio better understand what you learned from this work. Below this, you will see a place to identify the skills, tools, and software used for your project. Next, you have a place to add your collaborators so that this project can also be linked to their profiles as well. Finally, you're encouraged to label your project with tags to associate it with various topics on Portfolio. This will make it easier for someone interested in your topic to find your work. After you've completed these sections, I would encourage you to review the visibility settings for your project. You can click the cog icon at the top of the page to adjust your settings. Here you see options for visibility and comments. You can change these at any time before or after posting, and it gives you varying degrees of visibility from private, meaning you or someone you send a link to can see your project, to public, meaning anyone can see or find your project on Portfolio. Depending on the subject of your project and your preferences, you may want to allow or disallow comments, and this is the place to update that as well. From here, you can either click Finish Later to save this project as a draft, or click Publish to add your project to your portfolio. Now you know how to get started with Portfolio. If you have additional questions, we would encourage you to schedule a consultation. You can follow the Book a Consultation link on the University Library's website or go to calendar.lib.vt.edu forward slash appointments to book a time and talk with someone about ePortfolios. Thanks for watching.